Good morning. I'm trying to figure out how to mute the TV. Hmm, look, I did it. Um, I would just like to say that, again, I realize this might not be interesting to some people, but I'm sitting in my favorite place on the planet. Some people want to go to the Abacos or the Canary Islands or, I don't know, get a massage. Not me. I'm in my bed, see, bed. I'm watching TV, TV, and then that's the ocean out there. Did you see it? Oh, my hair. Um, I mean, I adore nothing more than sitting in this bed and drinking coffee. Call me crazy, but I mean, why is it true? I really do love it. Good morning, Kay. Now, last night, <clears throat> I was like, you know, I'm going to write. I do everything on my phone. It's like, I'm going to write my goals for the summer. My goals for the summer went down pretty quickly. And then we'll talk about some just kind of updates. Number one, wash face at night. This is true. This is something that I've never done. Oh my, now I'm itching because of Russell and all those... Um, those that lice comment from Blair I'm super jealous I know I mean now let me just say that my dad is here too so if you're feeling jealous he might could knock some of that out of you like last night he pointed out that I hadn't eaten my broccoli um, leftover from two days ago so I guess I'll have that for breakfast and what else uh, we leave a lot of crap around, we know, and like I'm really working at not. We just have crap because they're a lot of us. Um, but it, they're doing pretty well. My parents are leaving today. Oh, Susan, I want to hear more about this Andre Knight in Eden in Rocky Mount. I was kind of reading some stuff up on him. Not that I need to make a big fit, but um, he's a city council member who had a family buy some property. This is a year ago, clearly I'm behind. And then he tried, he wanted to get the city of Rocky Mount to buy it from him and he's on the town council. Hmm, that sounds sneaky to me. Uh, but anyway, I'm just curious. I'd like to get a little more messaging about that. Um, I just, the idea if I were on the city council, no one would be like, they would never say she's corrupt. They would be like, she's insane, but not corrupt. Um, oh, number two goal, okay, exercise. This is true. I have got to exercise. I mean, I look at pictures, and I'm like, oh, my God, I'm looking older, and my head is looking big. Here, let me hide this back. Anyway, I've always thought that when you get older, you shouldn't be thin because then you just look old. It's not true. Maybe if I wash my face, it'll help. Where's the sun? I don't see any sun, which isn't bad because... Uh, Two's tennis. Oh, I did get a tennis racket for Mother's Day, but I've had two um, rotator cuff surgeries, so I can't, not that I'm like gonna be the next Serena Williams or anything, but anyway. Um, I was thinking of swimming or walking, maybe. Yeah, today it's kind of overcast. I think we're gonna go to the aquarium. We did our pass, and now you can do a two, well, we've always done a two year pass, but they have a pass where you um, can bring an extra person each time, which is great. It's that way if I have a babysitter or my mom, or today I was gonna see if my neighbor, Birch Pope, wanted to go with us and her baby, Everett. Because I'm betting Everett hadn't been yet and I thought she might like it, but they're probably exercising. Birch is here. She'll love that I'm talking about her in a live video. But she was diagnosed with breast cancer pretty quickly after Everett was born. And I used to babysit for Birch. And she's finished a pretty heavy round of chemo. And she has a double mastectomy in about a week and then radiation. Anyway, she has an Instagram page called EP and Me. And she's just really a nice young woman. And um, an awfully tough, too just like to say that. So, I thought they might like to go with us. Um, okay, number three, goal, goal, goal. Don't curse at, don't curse at, 
and or around the children. I'm gonna really try to be better about this because I'm afraid my hair. I'm afraid Amos um, is going to start cursing. Yesterday, speaking of cursing, I mean, this isn't even my fault. We were driving on with my mom. We had been out, you know, getting camp stuff and shopping with Russell for camp stuff is like getting your teeth pulled out with pliers in a closet somewhere. He, um, in the, the camp list for Ridgecrest says jeans. My children don't wear jeans. I don't know why. I just, they maybe would when they were little, but Russell's, I mean, jeans, he doesn't even like stuff with buttons or that are uncomfortable. So anyway, there are no pants at Belk. And I'm not a big fan of going to Walmart. You know, I don't like to give them business. The rest of y'all are going to put us, like, out of the world with all this Amazon purchasing. Not me. Might go to Kmart. Oh, but anyway, I'm cursing. So we were, see, this, me taking notes is much better because then um, I don't forget what I'm saying, which, you know, happens. Um, Cox Family Restaurant. When I was little, we used to go there all the time with my grandparents. And Russell, I was like, oh, look, there's Cox. Russell was like, you said a bad word. I was like. I said Cox, C-O-X. He was like, well, C-O-C-K. I mean, how does he know that? Oh, it's disgusting. Anyway, um, cursing. Take number four, take break from children. This is true. I'm gonna, now my neck itches. I'm gonna try to take a break from the children. I know, I've had a break all year. I would just like to say that I know that people who stay home from their children are seen as lucky and blessed. And it's true, we are. But I would also like to say that those people suffer the most when their children get out of school. Because if you work, we know you don't like to work, you don't wanna work, our space has been invaded. It's like having your husband or somebody retire. I'm not used to all these people in my house. Mm -hmm. I'd just like to say that. Um, and I know I have it good, and let me just say, I'm just gonna put this out there. Yesterday I wrote something about summer, how we're just trying not to be overscheduled. And somebody said, I love your post, but I have to go to work. And so, well, I realized that. Like some people are in a North Korean camp. Not everybody can do everything. Oh, Salem Academy event. So when I write something, it's not, I'm not always writing about you. Um, so anyway, I think people have a tendency to get, take things real personally and get kind of all in a, Snit, um, you know, just like if somebody, Beyonce wrote that she had to fly coach. I mean, you might be, I guess, but maybe that's not a good example. You'd be like, oh, she's so annoying. Maybe that's how people think about me. I'm so annoying. Um, but anyway, I mean, I just can't deal. All the people in the house, yes. Don't Just don't be so sensitive. Like, not, it's fun. Be, be fun are too sensitive about silly stuff. Oh, I mean, I can't write a thing without having somebody be sensitive. Um, anyway, to block um, Jack Holbrook again. Oh, God, he's probably here. I don't know if I've blocked him right now. He's behaving, sort of. Now, enjoy time with children. Did I talk about that? No, number five, enjoy time with children. I'm trying to enjoy my time with children. That's why I'm going to the aquarium. And tomorrow, we're going to get up and drive to Asheville. Now, enjoying time with Amos in the car is not as fun because Amos likes to watch DVDs, but Amos hates DVDs. So, Amos kicks your seat. Um, so, anyway, it's a long trip to Asheville. Anybody want us to stop and visit them? We might. It's six hours, but we're excited. We are going to stay at the Haywood Hotel. Got a very nice um, rate and sort of exciting. And Adventure Landing is having us on Saturday. We might go to Linville Caverns. Any of y'all been to Linville Caverns? It's like another hour. I might be too tired by then. But anyway, okay, now, ponder life after children. 
this is true. Life after children is way different. I mean, I know there are people that wanted to have children that didn't, again, this isn't about them or me not appreciating the children that I have. I appreciate all these things. But there's not, it's not all bad to not have kids. Did you hear that? I mean, anyway, sort of good. We could also go to the Biltmore, though. We can't do everything. We have to pick Biltmore or Limbo Cowards. Um, so my friends that don't have children or hadn't had children, it's not too bad. Um, now, remember the days before children. Last night, my friend Devin from Wilson, my best college friend, was texting me, and she said that her children had been screwing around with the car and left the sunroof open. And... Um, of course it rained in the car so now she's got like a dehumidifier or something going on out there and she said do you remember when we met I had this convertible uh, car and I would leave the top down routinely and my bag phone you know the days of back was floating in the back seat not a lie floating um, anyway those are the days before children and <laughs> Devin and I lived down here one summer my cousin Megan laid them was here and they worked and I babysat which was work but I mean they worked at Odysseys and we pretty much drank ice house beer and went to you're talking about the Cholula exhibit and I'm going down memory lane of ice house beer and charged everything at Fort Macon Marina I think to Megan's dad and then we would sit on the couch and smoke inside the house I mean who smokes inside the house and then my grandparents would come downstairs and be like, what's going on? I smell smoke. And we'd be like, oh, this man just came by. He was selling screens. He was smoking. I mean, oh my gosh. Anyway, that's a whole other story. Okay. Teach children to floss. Yes, we're learning to floss properly. That's one of our summer goals. Um, read a book. I don't really read books. I'm trying to. I have this big stack. See him? Well, there's some children's books in there. I don't know why, but whenever I have a free minute, I would rather read, write than read, but I need to read. Mm. So I'm gonna read a book instead of a magazine. And if you're with Amos on the beach, I mean, you ain't reading. And if it's not him, it's them driving you crazy. Blair and Russell act like the world has caved in because there are no children around here to entertain them. Um, write a book. Look, that's my last goal. We'll see. It's not happening yet. Maybe next week once Amos goes to camp. Um, we went to visit his camp yesterday in Newport. Ooh, it's so fancy. Um, it's really nice. Met the director. And who else did we meet? Oh, we didn't meet Logan, but Logan is going to be his person. She's a kindergarten first grade teacher for kids with special needs. And um, anyway, Amos will have his own person at camp. And it's exciting. I think we'll stop by there again tomorrow so he can go inside. I want him to get kind of a look-see so he doesn't think we're just dumping him off somewhere. Um, but I'm really excited about that. They have a music room. They have an art room. They have a sensory room. They have a quiet room. They have a big kitchen where they cook. They have a huge screened-in porch area. I love a screened-in porch area. Outside with swings. Oh, and then they have a big, like, gross motor room with a trampoline and all sorts of stuff. Um, and then they go to the pool Monday, Thursdays, and Fridays. Anyway, it's exciting. I'm excited for him. Oh, and then they have an iPad room, but they only get them 30 minutes a day. I told her good luck with that. But anyway, um, that was exciting. Uh, what else? Oh, I might have done it all. Oh, did y'all see that Wendy's stuff? I mean, holy cow. That IHOP has changed its name to International House of Burgers? And then Wendy said, y'all remember when you were little and changed your name to like Thunderclap? Uh, Wendy's is funny. Um, that is true though. I remember when I was little, I wanted to, ch I changed my name to Joe for a few weeks. And then I also have written down what I was going to name my children. And my husband somehow got a hold of one of them. And it said I was going to name my first son a Treyu. A-T-R-E-Y-O-U. Thank goodness I didn't have a baby when I was 14. I'm sure somebody has. And they probably turned out great. So don't go fussing at me about that. Mm. Uh, I, 
guess that's all. Yep, that's it. Ooh, never mind. Well, now that I've said that, I talked to Nisha at uh, the Myrtle Beach. It's not the Embassy Suites. Maybe it's the Hilton where we're going to stay in two weeks when I'm doing a talk. She was so nice. Hmm. Anyway, when I had called their social media person to say, hey, I'm going to be down there. I'd love to do a trade. The person was like, yeah, no. Sort of hurt my feelings. But anyway, I don't care. It's fine. Um, a tray you. Oh, I never saw a never ending story, Miles. And I don't know how in the devil you're spelling it. <laughs> um, anyway, we will be going to Mexico in August. It's probably the hottest time on the planet to go to Mexico, but the Hard Rock is hosting us at their inclusive resort at Riviera Maya. And so anyway, it's going to be our family vacation. And this Asher trip. And I really want to take the train in Rocky Mount somewhere. <laughs> but I don't know if that's going to happen or not. Um, we'll see. Carry on, people. It's Tuesday. Goodbye. How in the devil do I get out of here? Huh. Oh, we got all this crap at the bottom. Oh, look.